The second critical part of the user interface are the worksheets themselves. So navigating around the worksheets is what you're going to spend most of your time doing while you're using the OpenPHA software. I'm going to show you that in the desktop version, but before I can do that, I need to show you how to get move things around in and out of the uh, premium cloud-based version versus the standard desktop version. So uh, right here, I have my General Oil and Gas Operating Company, Connexus's uh, company that we created for demos and training classes. And you'll see that they ha have a HAZOP here in their uh, Texas City uh, gas plant folder. So what I'm going to do is I've selected that and then I'm going to go here uh, to the navigation bar on top and click the export button. So when I click the export button you see down at the bottom it uh, downloaded a study called OpenPHA Study 1 uh, in this case because I've already downloaded it once previously. Um, and then I can go and uh, look at that folder and see what has happened. You'll see I've, I've downloaded OpenPHA files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to double click on that. And when I do, instead of opening up in the cloud-based version, it is going to open up in the desktop version here uh, on the desktop of my computer. And you can tell it's the desktop because you can have access to the file menu and uh, the other menus on the top here. All right, so... <clears throat> We're talking about uh, worksheets, and you're going to see lots of worksheets. So the nodes page, deviations, PHA worksheets, local worksheets, recommendations, all of these pages are worksheets. And what you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and start out in the PHA worksheet, is that they, they are kind of like spreadsheets in that there are rows of data. And in this case, on the PHA worksheets, uh, there is kind of a, a, a record for each deviation. But what you're going to need to know is that there are one-to-many relationships and even many-to-one, many-to-many uh, relationships that are shown in this database. And, and I'm going to try to demonstrate to you how uh, these relationships are important and how you're going to work with them when you're using OpenPHA. Uh, so in this case, I have a consequence indexed HAZOP study, which means for each date deviation, there's going to be one consequence. And for each one consequence, there are going to be many causes. So you'll see that there's one consequence and then um, you can select the different uh, attributes of that consequence or type them in, what have you, depending on what type of attribute it is. Um, then you go over here and you see that in this row there are two rows for causes because there is a uh, one-to-many relationship between consequence and causes. And similarly, there's a one-to-many relationship between causes and safeguards. Uh, so you'll see that there are four safeguards for this first cause. So that's kind of the, the, the beginning point of the showing the one-to-many relationships. And how you can work with this, you'll see down here on each worksheet, there is going to be a worksheet toolbar, and this helps you navigate inside the worksheet itself. So it begins with the ability to add, add a new node. So I can add a new deviation by clicking on this button, or if I'm in the causes row, uh, I can add a new cause uh, to that deviation or um, for, for that consequence. And if I go here and I click the button, you'll see that I added a new safeguard to that cause. So you're adding, when you click the button, it depends on where you're at in the worksheet, what's actually going to happen. So you're just gonna add another item into the, uh, the table, if you will, that you're currently working in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this button here to delete uh, those things that I just created. So I'm going to delete that safeguard and I'm going to delete this cause. Other things that you'll notice on the toolbar are the ability to copy. So the next item over is a copy. And when you do a copy, you're actually going to do what we refer to as a deep copy. So I'm going to go back here all the way over and I'm going to click 
high pressure and I'm going to copy this row. Uh, I'm going to go to a different PHA worksheet, a different node entirely. Uh, I'm going to add and then I am going to paste using the uh, paste row button down here into 515. And now you'll notice I didn't just copy the name of the deviation, I copied everything. So that's the deep copy. So you're going to get the deviation, you're going to get the consequence, all of the causes of that consequence, all of the safeguards that work against each cause. So it, it, it's basically copying that entire tree over. Uh, that, that's the deep uh, copy functionality. Now if I just wanted to copy the words high pressure and put them into another row, I would select them and here I would uh, click Control C for copy because that's using the Windows functionality of only copying the, those words. I create a new row, I click in, I click Control V for paste and now I'm only going to copy those words. So uh, when you're up top, when you're using the copy, cut, and paste, you're going to be doing the entire row. It's going to be that deep, uh, deep copying, deep cutting, and deep pasting. Okay, I've already talked uh, about deleting rows. And actually, let me go back to that first uh, worksheet page. Um, I have the ability to move uh, up and down so I can move down through the deviations with the down button, move back up with the up button and that's going to vary uh, depending on where you're at. Again, it's going to take the next item in that segment as opposed to always going row by row uh, in terms of deviation. You have the ability to uh, decrease the size. You can make it really small or increase the size uh, and then you have the print functionality. So this is the very easy print functionality. When we get the premium features, I'll talk about the more elaborate printing. Uh, but the quick printing is simply an export to Excel. So it'll take everything that's on the table that you're looking at right now. When I click this button, it's going to export all that to Excel. You see a typical um, uh, file dialog. And if I click Save, it just saved that information, the information on this spreadsheet out to Excel. Let me go ahead and just open that up. Yes, yes, yes. And let Excel fire up. So yeah, what you see here is simply all the information uh, that was on that single worksheet gets exported out as an Excel document. So that's the quick, uh, easy way to uh, export things uh, or print, if you will. Then if you actually wanted to print it, you can go ahead and print the uh, Excel spreadsheet at that point in time. Now, all the way over to the right, there is some searching functionality. So I can search the worksheet for things like uh, pressure. So... Uh, if I hit enter, it's going to find all of the instances of pressure on the worksheet. And then it's going to allow me to kind of step through where they're located, uh, finding the next one, finding the previous one, and so on. And then you also have the ability to uh, do a replace all, where you can uh, find a word and replace it with another word. So all that functionality is available at the worksheet level. And at the worksheet level, you're going to be working with the worksheet items themselves and the worksheet toolbar.